Hey everybody, I am at a lookout at Lao Thal Shan, Hong Kong, and uh, tell you what, I need to get in better shape. Uh, I just hiked up probably about six or seven hundred stairs. You can see them for yourself. On about a hundred degree day, the old fat guy ain't what he used to be. But anyway, um... So we're up here, we're gonna take some drone shots. It's right on the Shenzhen, Hong Kong border. Uh, I'll take you around over here. You can see the uh, uh, Shenzhen Bay and the uh, skyline of Shenzhen over here in the background uh, through the trees, perhaps. It's not a real thing. I'll get the drone up and you'll get a better cast and picture of it shortly. Here are some papaya trees right here, uh, close by, and look up there and see the papayas. There you go, right in there. There you go. Papayas growing on the tree. There you are. We'll slide over this way and get a better view of some of the swamp marshlands here in the, in the, in the wetlands. There you go. The other side there is China. This side is Hong Kong. I think I've recovered from that hike up the those steps. I hadn't done the steps in quite a long time. Those are tough, especially when it's like about 100 degrees Fahrenheit or somewhere in like 32, 33 Celsius. Um, it's one of these goofy days where it uh, can't decide whether it's sunny or cloudy or uh, what have you, and it's uh, probably going to be thunderstorms here later today. Anyway, I just kind of wanted to chat a little bit with you about where we are and what we're doing here. Uh, this is a, a Lao Fal Shan, which is right across the river, bay, whatever you want to call it, from Shenzhen Bay in uh, China. And it's part of Hong Kong. Uh, it's a famous seafood village. Uh, they do a lot of oyster farming here and whatnot. Uh, these areas that kind of border along China uh, all the way around uh, uh, Hong Kong in the new territories uh, really uh, are sort of uh, very rural, very, um, uh, I should say, less developed. They're not nearly as modern as uh, 
say some of the cities, uh, Hong Kong, Kuala Loon, uh, uh, those areas, uh, Ya Yun Long, Chun Wan, what have you. Uh, and, uh, and and a lot of it out here, it, one, because it's so much farther from Hong Kong Island, you're roughly about 25 to 30 kilometers away. And the other thing is, is it's, it's very industrial out here. You eat a lot of uh, logistics, transportation, uh, uh, recycle industrial type uh, uh, scenarios here where they you know basically take things and ship them back over as raw materials into China there is still a border between China and Hong Kong uh, and it's and it's uh, you know treated as a border it's treated like you're going into another country when you go into from Hong Kong to China you either have to have a, a pass or you have to have a passport or what have you and if you're a non Hong Kong person uh, most likely you need a visa to get into China and um, and then uh, coming from Hong China into Hong Kong I'm, I'm not sure exactly what the rules are I think certain people have allowances where they can come so many times a month or something like that um, as well uh, but um, and it is treated as an international border there's a reinforcement uh, you don't see a lot of people you know obviously trying to migrate in from China to Hong Kong illegally or any of that kind of stuff like happened years ago before the handover but uh you know it, 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 it there is quite a bit of uh, people that overstay their visas here and get in trouble and get have to get sent back and so on and so forth um a lot of political unrest right now in, in hong kong and you can read about that in the papers i don't really uh, it's as an american it's not my job to you know basically talk about other people's issues suffice to say that Part of Hong Kong wants to have a little bit more freedom and autonomy, and the other part of it is sort of uh, loyal to Beijing, and they are constantly at loggerheads with each other. But uh, a lot of beauty in Hong Kong, a lot of uh, things. You, Hong Kong is known as this great big city, and one of the things I do out here in where I'm at in the new territories is I basically show you the sort of the, the beauty of Hong Kong that's not the urban jungle, if you will. A lot of people give you videos of Hong Kong and things like that. I try to show you pagodas and religious sites and uh, tourist sites and scenic sites and back of the wood sites that you wouldn't ne necessarily normally see. And uh, that's kind of one of the goals of this is to give you a little travel, a little bit of tech, a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, all these type of things mixed in from more of a, an older person uh, philosophy. So that's what we do here. And uh, I really uh, thank you for watching. Uh, we're going to go take some spin here, see if we can find some other uh, neat and interesting places out here in uh, the far-reaching things of Hong Kong to show you today. Uh, if you like it, hit subscribe and like and the bell for notifications, and I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.